how long have you been here? I don't know. I've lost count. It's been a couple of years, I, I think. Let's ask that guy over there. Hey, how long have you been here? What? I can't, I can't hear you. If you're talking to me, should I go over there? No, no, I, I stay, I stay. Um, Dwight? Yeah? Could you, I don't know, ready up? Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet. Then why are you even here? Ready yeah, up get already! Ready. ready up! Oh, here we go again. Okay, if any of you get hooked, I brought borrow time. And I have empathy, so I can heal you. Hey, guys. Ah, the, the killer. killer! No, no, I, I, I'm i Quentin. I just look really tired. But I brought pharmacy. What does that do? It allows me to open chests slightly faster. Wow. But it guarantees a medical kit. Th the first time, that is. <coughs> just bring self heal. Damn! What's up, turds? Oh, you're hurt. Let me heal you. Nah, girl. I did this on purpose. It's called no mither. No water? It lets me start the match injured. Why? You nerds don't get it. No mither allows me to- Ah! It's all yours. Oh, hey, I got a medical kit. This perk is already paying off. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You made me drop my overpowered flashlight. Uh, uh, uh. It's, it's okay, I got it back. Ah! <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Why does this generator keep shorting out? Hmm. Maybe it's this thing. Oh, I'll take it apart. Mm. Uh, we we could just stomp it out. Still at it, huh? I could have kicked it apart by now. There, back to the generator. Oh Jesus! How long you been standing there? Gate open. Me smell noobs inside. I out of hatches. Be right back. Oh, Occupado. You know, we've been running around this same pallet for like five minutes now. Aw, is Trapper Keeper getting tired? Yeah, come on, let me hit you just once. Don't think so. <gasps> I got you now! Oh, my head! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now you're butt dancing. Very mature, I'm leaving. Good, go. <laughs> oh, so now your shoe is on your other foot, Dad. In my trap. Yeah. This isn't fair. Why are you so mean? Finally, things are going my way. Oh, ow! That hurt you, no? What did you even stab me with? Uh, why do I even try? I should just become a survivor. I don't know if I could do generators, though. Do you hear that? Sounds like spooky children singing. Ooh, what's wrong with your head? I don't know. I, I'm suddenly feeling very sleepy. Okay, this this is new. Hello, little girl. <laughs> oh, hell no. I, I guess she had to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing anyway? What, this? It's an instrument of punishment. <laughs> it kind of looks like a... <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Meeting will now come to order. 
As you may have noticed, we have quite a few new members in our group that we all agree to call the Cool Killers Club. I thought we were going with Killers Anonymous. <laughs> me like Noob Stomper. Uh, 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 uh. What me saying? Uh, I mean, what Leatherface said. Uh, I voted for the hookers. Nia and the Pussycats. How about Freddy's bitches? <laughs> How about oh, oh, Nia oh, and the oh, Pussycats? Oh, I'm oh, off the oh, killer because oh, they don't know I'm the killer. Clever pun. I used traps, but we still hooked. I think a Cool Killers Club is great. I, I love it. Oh. You know you're not in this club. No, don't make me go back. I want to stay here. Yeah, escort him out, please. All right, big guy, let's go. No! No! Huh. That's sick. Also, when did he start talking? Hi, Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us once again. I'll move this just a little bit out of the way. There you go. You can still see the wonderful alienware. I'm wear. hidden yeah. behind this enormous laptop. There you go. Uh, all right, so thanks for joining us uh, this week again. That was an amazing video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, and uh, we're probably going to share it on uh, on Twitter and yeah, Facebook yeah, yeah. Then after the stream. Oops. So uh, this is going to be uh, available for you guys. If you want to watch it on your own time. Hello. Uh, uh, thanks, Bjorn, for joining us and making this possible once more. Thank you uh, to our mods. And we do have a few of them here with us today. We have Azeu. Hi. Uh, Clyde, Luzi, Gidawid, Ryudi, Sassy, Shiroku, and uh, Suggestive. Thank you for being here, guys. Uh, all right, and thank you everybody else uh, for joining us. This should be fun. Uh, okay, so first things that we should talk about right now. Uh, uh, the yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, the patch notes. So there was a patch released today, whether you're on PC or console. It happened at some different times, but we have a patch that just came out. It six contains a Same-day patch. Yeah, not yeah. Not yeah. simultaneous uh, anymore. So... Um. Let's go quickly through the Over main the yes. main uh, elements of the patch. Uh, it was uh, fixing bugs and a few features uh, that needed a little bit of tweaking. I just have the uh, PC note in that front of me. That should be fine. But uh, on console, there's a few different things that were uh, supposed to be, well, that were not in the build when we su uh, yeah. s submitted it, but it's it's catching up to PC right now. So. Uh, first off, the dead hard speed curve has been changed. Uh, you guys shouldn't see that much of a difference. This is step one of making the uh, the new speed and animation for dead hard to be easier to decipher on the killer side to know if you actually got dead hearted or if uh, it was just a miss on the hit. So that's uh. That's step one of two. The animation didn't come with the speed change, but it will come uh, shortly. Uh, fix an issue with window vaults. Uh, so basically yeah. there was a side that was allowing faster vault than the other. Uh, this has been fixed. Uh, people were asking uh, about uh, closed up rooms in Larry's hospital. Uh, this has been uh, changed too. Yep. Uh, really interesting about the pig we uh, changed and uh, basically, um, higher up the, the yeah we, the we uh, raised the scoring uh, scoring for deviousness. Yes, so successful hit after an ambush, uh, setting up a reverse bear trap, and starting an ambush dash will give you more points than it currently does. Yeah, so two hundred. That should help quite a well. lot. Yeah, uh, five hundred to two uh, instead of two fifty, and a hundred instead of twenty five. As for bugs, which is uh, should we go through the whole list? That's well, a lot there, of stuff. But okay, uh, a lot of really interesting ones uh, that, that we saw a lot. The hatch bond on uh, the new map. Yeah. Um, the nurse uh, uh, wipe and stun yeah. blink. 
Uh, also, p the pig getting an automatic kill by dropping people with a bear trap right in front of the exit. That's not going to work anymore. I was it was by design, but you yeah. Know. Um, so that's a bug fix, and it's not a nerf. It is a fix yeah. because it wasn't working as intended. It is not a is a fix that changes yeah. a, a little bit the gameplay. There was a freeze that was introduced when we released Saw. Those are fixed. That's so good. Huntress also uh, had the her movement speed slowed down when she was canceling a hatchet throw. That's been fixed. Uh, and finally, we have also. Uh, the where did they go achievement yes it's fix, about time which is great um for the rest it's um minor things minor little a few localization details. fixes and a few small things like grass patches and whatnot so you can take the time to look at them but uh yeah we're happy we had a bunch of fix came in uh, I have a few questions here. A very exciting question. I like lore questions, uh, but this one is, which killer resisted the entity the most? As in, which killer did the entity have to beat into submission? Uh, that's a very, very interesting question, and I will make sure to ask it to the right people and get an answer for next week. Uh, show notifications when survivor disconnect from post-game chat so that we don't keep talking to the walls. That's a very interesting uh, suggestion. It would be in a quality of life update. Oh, absolutely. Uh, okay. All right. Um, so uh, we had a, an event. Yes. In Moscow uh, last weekend. That was uh, that was very exciting. So there was an event in Moscow, as you said, called uh, Cyberspace. Cyberspace, and uh, our very own uh, Clyde was there to represent. Uh, and it went really well. So we have a few pictures that we want to show from that. Uh, th that's not the first one, but that's fine. There's four, <laughs> He's like, right? I don't know. All right, cool. So the this this is some ridiculously uh, good cosplay right there. Uh, seriously, Doctor Strug that we can recognize because the only person in the world with that awesome hillbilly suit. Uh, next picture, please. So that's our, our very own Clyde there with uh, Tian Kami, obviously one of our most prolific uh, Russian streamers. Then we have this very, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very rude uh, 72 hour Claudette. <laughs> yeah, Let, let's rephrase that. Awesome 72 hour Claudette cosplay, blinding a Michael Meyer. <laughs> very rude. Uh, okay, and this this is just too funny. This, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this works so hell. Uh, so uh, that's uh, obviously the Huntress uh, winning the game of Thrones. All right. Uh, so that was the event. Thank you uh, for all of our uh, the, the people that organized this and for all the Russian fans that attended. I think it was a success. Now. All the questions today. It's just I can't read chat. There's questions popping up on top of it. Uh. <laughs> About this, what? About everything. I just can't read it. It's too fast. All right. Um, so. Okay. I'm just gonna. All right, mo just mods are gonna destroy everything. Yep. yep. So mods, give us some interesting questions. In the meantime, let's talk a little bit about the survey results for the winter solstice. Yes, absolutely. So we had a survey last week. It was posted on uh, Steam, Twitter, and Facebook. And. Uh, Yes, the first one is, yeah, that's it. Yay, survey results. That was just uh, this. Okay, okay. so uh, there was four questions. Uh, we had 18,000 people participating. That's a lot Th of people. That's amazing. Seriously, for surveys that nobody wants to answer usually, I'm very happy that you felt it was Lots uh, of useful. Because yeah. the most people answer, you know, the, the better, better quality the information is. Exactly, so we asked you guys um, to rate the, the event. We asked you guys how many time, uh, how many hours did you put in during the event. Uh, and 18,717 18, comments that you left us. Uh, I went through them with filters. I couldn't obviously well, yeah. read, read them all. all. Them, yeah. uh, but uh, we got a lot of good ideas and good feedback from that for the next events. And then uh, the feature ranking, what's interesting here 
is that yes you guys rated in that order but the rating was so close to each other yeah. so the difference between the new achievement and the double blood point in terms of um weight yeah was almost the same which means we actually succeeded into uh touching interest from a lot of different type yeah. of players which is giving us a good um idea of what we want to do next there we go. next survey is going to be on the saw chapter and the 1.9.0 patch uh, so basically uh, we're gonna launch that tomorrow so keep an eye on social media we're gonna uh, launch that tomorrow and we're gonna have it uh, translated also in uh, Chinese and Russian for now that's cool so that's gonna reach out a little bit more people so Thank you for your participation, and hopefully I'm going to hear a lot about the new chapter feedback yeah. starting tomorrow. Thank you. That's it. That was all I had to say on that. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's okay, move. so uh, <laughs> we don't have stats today because our uh, friend uh, Julien, who usually puts uh, these um, things together, is uh, having a baby right now. Yay. So well, yay him. Yeah, well, his wife. Yeah, well, he's—he's. He's, I'm sure he's <laughs> helping somehow, like moral support or something. He's bringing a glass of water, of course, or staying yeah. out of the way. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I have a few questions here. I'll just go quickly. Uh, what did the killers sound like before being taken in by the entity? What do they sound like? That'd be interesting to get just a few words from them. That's correct. When the pig makes a noise before an ambush attack, is this intended? Yes, it is. Uh, can we get an offline mode to practice playing our characters? Uh, playing against killer bots. Uh, so, you kill your friends is the closest. So you can get a few people together and practice things. Hmm. I but think they meant soul practice. Yeah, I know. Uh, doing AI is uh, not a simple matter. And uh, we'd rather put our energy elsewhere for the moment. But who knows? Uh, will we ever get a console exclusive survivor? It'd be cool, just the way we have the left uh, behind uh, for PC. It'd be cool to get something uh, for console players. Uh, it, yeah. This is not something we have uh, in the works right now. No, just uh, conversations <laughs> are open, but nothing is being worked on. Uh, could there be a future change to prestige clothes to where if you prestige you can have the choice to make all of your clothes bloody? What do you, what do you get? <laughs> Damien is not looking pleased with that. So, uh, probably not just because it's a lot of work to create those prestige outfits. So having to do a version for every single piece of clothing would be a, an immense amount of work. However, uh, we do have a few ideas for things coming for customization that I think people will lose their minds on. Huntress's hitboxes will be fixed someday? I want to throw hatchets over trucks. Yes, that's understood. And it is a, a bug right now that we will look at when it becomes the top priority. So it's not being worked on as I know right now. But we are well aware of it. Um, Okay, uh, the chest question. What? Why is it that the survivors slam it shut when you do the whole closing animation? Kind of seems like it would be better if you could close this chest softer and not give a notification. Well, don't stop the the channel. It's a channel. You stop the channel, it gives a notification. That's how it works, right? Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, when the emblem system goes live, will there be still double blood points for seasonal event? That's a, it seems like a simple question, but it is actually a very complex question because things will be slightly different, but we still plan to do events where you will be rewarded more than usual for doing stuff. I'll leave it at that for now. Je... Okay. Uh, how does the blood web work lore-wise? Oh, I will not get into that right now. Uh, will there be any supernatural killers, like a spirit or some monster instead of a real person? But well, could be argued that the hag is a little monstrous and the nurse is definitely not all natural. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, it's possible. Um, uh, will there be a revisit of the old killer bio since the there would be happy to learn more about each killer and a minor inclusion or hint on the entity's influence on their life? Uh, we're probably not going to redo the bios, but we are looking at different ways uh, to uh, to modif to to tell more of the story. You know, whatever medium we use, we want to tell more of the story. Uh, can I ask one that I've seen? A lot of people yeah. don't like DS. Are we planning anything on that? The what? A lot of people don't like the perk DS, the yeah. Slice of Strike. Are we planning anything on that? You know as well as I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's been worked on at all. I don't know if the design... I know the design had ideas, but I don't know if they have the time to work on this. Yeah. There you go. I, uh, I thought maybe you knew. That's why I asked. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. One, would you consider... a? possible killer created by the entity and not one that was dragged in from the outside that's a very interesting uh, question but uh, I that's not how these trials work so they're asking uh, feedback uh, with what Matt Walker talked about last week about the loop yeah. that we were looking into um, actually if I understand correctly it's it's about having the tools in-house to uh, to work on this specifically yeah. so I don't know exactly where they are on that uh, honestly but it's a good question that I will try to have an answer to there you go um, all right then. so we can go and uh, well I can go <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, and then and we can Danny. start talking about our uh, process to create characters in here absolutely all right don't forget to vote on the survey tomorrow yes all right. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the other side, as in the chat. I'll join you guys. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Now let me introduce to you uh, Damien, Hi guys, who is our uh, one of our 3D artists, most uh, mostly known for creating characters for us, and uh, we like him, <laughs> so that is known. Uh, uh, okay. Switch this. So, uh, when did you actually join the Dead by Daylight team? Uh, <coughs> it was like two like years ago? Uh, almost three years, actually. Oh, it's been yeah. so long, this project. It never ends. Yeah. What was the first thing you worked on when you joined the team? Uh, I think um, on Dwight. That's the first character yeah. I worked on. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's been so long. <coughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> feel free to uh, send your questions about character creation and about uh, the process we use and about why uh, we make Dwight so handsome, for instance. Uh, you know, whatever you want to ask. So what are you going to talk to uh, our people out there about today? Okay, so um, I'm going to explain briefly, actually. Uh, the pipeline we are using for the creation of the characters. Cool. So uh, we have like different uh, software that we use, like Marvelous Designer, uh, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Maya. Uh, so I'm gonna like uh, do a, a brief presentation about how uh, Marvelous Designer is working, and uh, and ZBrush. Cool. I already have a question. It says here: Is Blender a good start for learning 3D art? Uh, Blender is uh, like uh, a free software. It's nice. I think it's, uh, it has a, a good uh, like uh, things. I don't know. I, I don't know about the software actually. Me, I used it a little bit yeah. because it's free, yeah. and I wanted to do some stuff at home. Okay. And I'd say it's a very good one to learn because first of all, it's free, yeah. and second, it does offer you know ninety percent of what. 3D Max or Maya or anything else does, you know, yeah. it's all in the end, it's all creating polygons and, you know, the shortcuts are going to be slightly different yeah. and some of the tools are going to work a little differently, but 
in the end, the principles you need to learn exactly. are the same yeah. wherever you go. Yeah. Uh, Blender is a good, active community, exactly which means that if you have questions, you, yeah. you'll be able to find tutorials, you'll be able to find answers. So I think that, uh, yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, when the staff member won the face of Dwight... One of the... The when? Oh my won God. the face of Dwight. How do you start to recreate it from a photo? Oh my God! By, uh, I you took pictures. Yeah, that's it. I, <laughs> I had like a lot of pictures, and then I uh, try to fit in the yeah the most like the most close that you can. But anyway, <laughs> w most of the time when you create a character, you take reference pictures. Yeah. Even if it's just oh, I'll make <coughs> this nose and this thing, and then you sort of mix and match from different things. Yeah. But yeah. It's always good, whatever you're doing, like you're making a chair, you find reference pictures so that, you know, you're not yeah, working yeah. In, in nothingness. That's it, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll stop interrupting. Please show us some things. Okay, yeah, we can like uh, switch uh, my screen. So that's Marvelous Designer. Uh, I have uh, like a, a base mesh on the, on the left. No, that's a generic body that's yeah. from just nothing. That's it. It's just a base that we are using for, uh, to create like uh, the clothing. So Marvelous Designer is a, a software that... Uh, it's only for clothing. It's only for clothing. Okay. I can create whatever you want as a clothing. How is working? Okay, what You're are you having a hard time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just click. Okay, the souris doesn't work. The souris doesn't work? Yeah, the souris doesn't work. <laughs> it's, is it plugged in? Yeah, it's plugged in. It, it seems to work. No? Well, this is exciting. Is it the left click that's not working? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you're doing something now. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, this is fun. So I'll ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, how long does it take to create a character from concept to finished and ready to play? Wow, ready to play. There is like more than one person uh, involved yeah. in this. But Your uh, stuff? In my stuff, um, I'm taking briefly around two weeks to create a char uh, whole character. Then, then we need to send it to the animators That's and they, it. Need, they need to do some work on it. And uh, yeah. Mm, which character was the hardest to do? The hardest? The doctor, maybe, the face was pretty yeah. cool There's to do. Yeah, a lot of detail yeah. in there. But, but it was uh, fun. But it was fun, actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always, it's always fun. Uh, um. Very important question here from Rotten Plant. Okay. What's the blue line on the hillbilly's hips? Is that his underpants? Oh, no, it's, uh, that's ropes. <laughs> Ropes. Yeah, he's carrying ropes. And that's like around. Oh, it's his belt. Uh, yeah, it's actually just a shitty old rope. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So is this working? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. So right now, I'm doing like a a pattern. It's ex it's working ex actually exactly the same as. Uh, like well, if you are a, a seamstress or if you actually design clothes in real life, yeah. like out of cloth, Swanky. you'd be making a pattern first. Yeah. That's essentially how the fabric is cut so that it can then be sewn together. Exactly. So you're doing the exact same thing in 3D. Yes. There you go. It's working exactly the same thing. Same way. So right now I'm doing the, uh, the front. I'm going to... Okay, I'm gonna duplicate that thing. It's gonna appear in the 3D uh, view. I'm gonna replace this. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the Sewing, I think. Sewing. sewing. Yeah. I guess. Oh no, it's not working. I guess. Yeah. Undo. 
undo. I need to revert that thing. There you go. And then uh, this. Uh, there we go. And then I'm gonna uh, simulate everything, and it's gonna wrap up on the on the character. It's like magic, really. Exactly. Then we can like. What's nice also is that you're you're showing a beautiful example of art. Yeah. Is always a f uh, a function of the time you give to it. So if I give you a minute and a half to make a T-shirt, it's gonna be the shittiest, ugliest T-shirt you've ever yeah. seen. Uh, but the talent and skill is that you actually can make a shitty looking t-shirt yeah, in a minute. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody could, is all I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Uh, but the, the, the really end. cool thing about Marvelous Designer is that if you were to create this in 3D from scratch, like in Maya or something, creating this, you'd need to go in and create all the way the folds are exactly. working, all the way the, the, the fabric falls, depending on the, the yeah. thickness and depending. And this is, I mean, just even if you're trying to, anybody who's tried to, you know, draw a shirt on someone and then try to make the folds feel right, yeah. it's incredibly difficult. It's, su it's super hard. So that's why we are using that software because we, it's help, it helped us to have the the folds on the character, the folds on the on the shirt, on a, or a jacket, or whatever, and then uh, export export this and do like a, a detail pass in uh, in ZBrush. So I can go further. Or yeah, like yeah, just what so, sort of modifications <coughs> do you do with that? Like uh, you can you can play, I assume, with the type of fabric. Yeah, but it won't be. Obvious with that kind of uh, clothing. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you have the 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 Claudette the jacket yeah, 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 you wanted it. to bring in? Yeah, that's it. Because this is a very very simple version. Okay, so this would be a much more complex yeah. model that you made. So you can see the whole pattern, and technically you could give that pattern to a skilled uh, seamstress, and they could create that jacket I out hope. of it. I hope more or less. Yeah. Uh, usually you have like uh, the, the valeur de couture. I don't know what it's called in English, but yeah. essentially you have to add fabric so yeah, that exactly. you can actually uh, sew it together, which that. you don't do in that, but no. still. So this is the jacket, obviously, that yeah. you can recognize. There's the jacket. That's the, the second outfit uh, from Claudette. Yeah. So that's the first pass I did in Marvel Designer. And uh, so it's kind of, uh, it's, it's super heavy, so I, I don't want like, uh, uh, like Play start. with it, because yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah, that's it, start the, uh, plus I'm uh, in remote, so it's going to be hard, but that's it. That's all the detail that we can uh, have in, the, in Marvel Design. So that means that all the, f like if you zoom in a little bit on the left side, you can even open this section a little. So fun to work in yeah, ideal conditions. Geez. No. Maybe because it's the remote. But anyway, so if you go closer, even with the, the pants or the, the jacket sleeves, you can see all these folds and the way the fabric actually falls on the character and all the seam also. Yeah. How it follows the side of the arm and everything. All these things are calculated are calculated for you yeah. with Marvelous yeah. Designer, which yeah. helps immensely. And it also means that if you wanted to, you could take this jacket and put it on a different body type, exactly, and see how it falls on them, and mm -hmm. it would it would sort of work with that. Which we've done for like the T-shirt. So there's a T-shirt yeah. that we reuse for a few of the characters. Yeah. I did and one, and uh, we reuse it for uh, Jake, for Dwight, for. Uh, Whatever yeah. characters. There's a model for women and a model for uh, yeah. for men. Yeah. yeah. So after that, uh, I can show you the result in uh, ZBrush. Yes, please. So at the end, we have this. So we can uh, you can see the difference between the, the Marvel Designer and the, the ZBrush Pass. And I added some uh, buttons, uh, stitches, uh, zippers, zippers. Like seams everywhere. Uh, and yeah, that's painted more or less. Yeah. In a, well, sculpted in ZBrush. Maybe I can. So for the people who uh, don't know, ZBrush uh, came out a few years ago and started being used uh, 
wildly in the industry. Why? Uh, because before that, it was Max, uh, 3D Max and Maya, and essentially the idea was, oh, there was a soft image also for Safety. movies mostly, yeah. because you were always bound by the number of triangles in your full scene. Like when I, I was working, when I was in school for uh, video games, if you had a scene with 20 million polygons, it was gonna lag like crazy, and then uh, the file would get to ridiculous sizes, yeah. and it's, it's unmanageable. Uh, but ZBrush starts at millions of polygons, and the, the quality of it becomes, I mean, this is not the model we can use in game no. as final. It's no. unusable, no. but you use that to create the low res, and then you apply, exactly. you create your textures out of this, and the normal maps and all of it, right? Yeah. That's the purely the, the high def and we can actually we have uh, around 60 million points vertices, so it's kind of enormous. Uh, maybe we can like. Uh, have, uh, Are there any specific reasons uh, only Nia as tank tops? Not really. So we just made a tank top for Nia because yeah. it was her style. That's it. That's the and then we just, that's it. Yeah. We just didn't make it for the other survivors. No, but that's fine. However, the follow-up is, will they be available to other survivors in the future and or will Nia be able to wear t-shirts? And those two are absolutely possible. We do have some really, as I said earlier, we do have some really cool plans for some cosmetics coming. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, Nia will have more than a tank top. Yeah. I'll put it like that. Really cool. All right. Uh, what about retopology? What tool do you use? Uh, we are using uh, Maya. Uh, there is a tool in Maya called uh, Quad Draw. And quad Draw? Quad Draw. Like yes. quads? Quad Draw. And drawing. Yeah, that's okay. it. So we are using the ZBrush model. We decimate the model and then we bring it to Maya and we are using the uh, decimate model to, as a, I don't know, as a, as a base and we can like, uh, uh, like construct, uh, build the model on top of it. So with the tool, it's uh, super easy, it's, uh, it's super fast, and we, uh, we are using this, it's, it's amazing. amazing Wh what is easier, creating a female character or a male character? I suspect that it's the same it's thing. It's the same thing, actually, it's not really uh, it different. Really yeah, that's, it, yeah. that's not what makes the difference, no. that's it. Uh, uh, show a little bit, you were fiddling with a tool on, on ZBrush to yeah. show how you actually work in there, how you sculpt. It's going to be super hard because nobody uses ZBrush with a mouse. No. Nope. Uh, you use a, a, like, no. a, a like a welcome a tablet. Like a welcome. tablet. That's the brand, but yeah. 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 That's so it's okay. a graphic it's tablet, graphic I tablet. guess. That's <laughs> uh, maybe we can show the, the video I did. Uh, well, this is actually interesting because in the okay. video, I don't think you see the actual tools you use. No. So That's it. you have a bunch okay. of different brushes, but the brushes are 3D brushes. Yeah. They're sculpting brushes yeah. where you can add or remove material yeah. according to certain I shapes. Can you with this uh, sphere? Okay. So. Um, so just for uh, shits and giggles, how many polygons is that sphere? Is that sphere? Uh, Eight thousand. No, Let's see. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna smooth a little bit. Okay. So there is different tools. Uh, there, like it's exactly the same thing as uh, when you are sculpting clay. Uh, you can move stuff. You can add push in and dig and yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, just okay. pick one. Clay build up. You can like add some clay on top of it. You can smooth. You can use the move tool, so it's bigger. Uh, what else we have? We have the dump standard. How long do you usually spend in ZBrush for a character? Uh, it's around a, a week, five, five days. So that's where you create 
most of the details and also yeah. there's usually a bit of the concept phase that's done in ZBrush. So once we have a concept for the character, then the first 3D representation will be done in ZBrush. Yeah. And that's when we'll say, oh, maybe he's, he needs a stronger jaw, maybe he needs Actually, that. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's uh, often uh, it's like this. We have the concept and then it's usually uh, there is differences between the 2D concept and the 3D, uh, 3D model. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, actually I was, the, um, that's it. There's differences between the 2D and the 3D. So sometimes we have to talk with the, the, the art director and, uh, and modify the things, modify certain like the belt or whatever, the jaw, like you said. Uh, but mainly it's uh, yeah, around four or five days to create the, uh, the eye definition model. Why does the hag have dreadlocks? I must know. That is because it's cool. Okay. Yeah. It was nice, no? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. That's it. I remember we, we tried a few things for the hag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first. And yeah. none of them looked good. At first, was the we used the fiber mesh from uh, ZBrush. And okay. It was super heavy. And we, we don't have the ability to uh, animate the hair. So uh, it was horrible. It was and like then we a did a big, uh, like a beehive kind of thing. We tried also sort of almost like March Simpson oh, yeah. kind of thing. And we're like, we nah, have that, that doesn't work. Yeah, the, first, no, that the first outfit is like that, but it's like smaller. Yeah. No, but we, I remember one that we tried, or maybe it was just a concept, oh, really? but it was just like <laughs> ridiculously big. Uh, and we tried a few things, and then we, I, I, one morning you showed us the dreadlocks, and we're like, yeah. oh, yeah, that. That really that works. works the, that, that works the for the character. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. always complicated with the, the hair. And yeah. We can animate the. This but the hair is the bane of video games. Yeah. It's been forever, forever, and you see the the top AAA games who spend, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. on their their games, and then they have like one character with nicely animated the hair, and they pay the price. Yeah. Like this it's is what. Months of <laughs> works and yeah. yeah. Uh, why does the green Claudette t-shirt have a frog on its back? A frog? Does it have a, a frog? frog? The weekend Claudette... Is it biologic one? No, well, I if it's... Uh, if you're talking about the one from the... The, the charity case? Wow, I don't been, know. It's been a while no, for the thing. I, um, anyway. What is easier to make, a survey or a killer? Oh, a Gab. <laughs> a survivor or a killer? She's in oh. the world of surveys right now. So. Uh, is it easier or what's the question? The question? survivors or killers? By the, it's not that easier or not. It's, the, it's cooler to do killers than do survivors. Do you enjoy the killers better? Yeah, sure. Because they're crazier monsters. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. And you tend to make monsters at home in your own free time. Yeah. Pretty much. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So did did you want to show a little clip of the process yeah. of ZBrush? Because this is not really you can't do anything more than a lump of no, crap like this. It. So let's show what it looks like when you're actually taking your time to do that's stuff. It. And so this is slightly uh, fast forwarded. Yeah, uh, I think I uh, passed 40, 40, 45 minutes uh, on this, and it's like completed in five minutes. Okay. So it's just to show you how ZBrush is working. So um, like uh, like um, I said, like I show you in the, the different tools we have, uh, there is different, um, like we, ca we, we can move, we can add stuff, we can, uh, do pretty much everything with the, with the soft. So some people would ask me, for instance, and I know the answer, but it's my job it's to true. ask the silly questions. Wouldn't it be easier to start with like a generic pre-made head that you've made before? Oh yeah, sure. Did you do that? Start from a generic head or some other character's head? Sometimes I'm doing this, but mainly um, I don't like to do to do that because you you always feel the the head I, I, I used mm -hmm. with the with the new head. It leaves something. Yeah, it still 
there is something every time. So sometimes I prefer to uh, to f to start from scratch. Also, it it sort of in a sense it forces you to you know reconstruct the, 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 the rethink about every single part yeah. of the character. Yeah. So, uh, like I was saying earlier, it's really super annoying to see someone with talent do something well and make it look easy. So, just putting that out there. Thank Bjorn you. agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you make this look like, oh yeah, I could do this, probably, and then I'll get ZBrush <laughs> and then I'll make the lump you just made after two hours of checking tutorials and resetting, and then I'll feel horrible. So, thank you. Uh, My pleasure. Uh, were you given a lot of freedom when it was agreed that there would be Christmas lights on the map for the holidays? What was modeled but cut from the final build? That's an interesting question. It's not really on your side because you really. don't work on the environment That's so it. much. You've done a few things yeah, in the past year and there. Yeah. But uh, so no, when we decided to put some uh, Christmas decorations in there, we looked at all the items that are all the props that are in every map. And we figured out, oh, the barrels would probably, uh, you know, oh, the, the hooks, obviously. And we needed to make sure that they would be easy to put everywhere at once so that it would be present. Uh, we had a few choices and we tried a few different things, but uh, no, there was not that much. Uh, well, there was freedom. It was, it's always free because, you know, uh, yeah, there was an idea about the chests, which we didn't have time to do. Uh, but, but there's no such thing as were you given a lot of freedom because it was us deciding to do something and so the the freedom is uh, always a function of the time we have and the, the manpower it's always that it's always that uh but yeah nobody's looking over our shoulder and giving us directives you know if anything the the ultimate authority is is steven and he's sitting right there with us when we're talking about these things so it really doesn't come into play really <coughs> so where are we at with this? Kind of uh, the end. Will the new art book show all the stages that go through making the 3D models? Mm -hmm. So I, we haven't committed to making an art book. We said we would want to do it maybe with a like a game of the year edition or mm -hmm. whatever we redo uh, packaging uh, it would be super cool the, yeah. the original art book is really nice yeah, I, I printed my there. like a physical copy of it yeah. I really like it yeah. uh, but if we were to do a new art book then it could be really cool to put some of the not just concepts no. but also the like demo. some parts of the process I think uh, people would find this interesting yeah sure Cool. Uh, Sassy saying, I would watch this video on repeat all day, so damn cool and interesting. <laughs> it, it is sort of hypnotic in a sense to see like literally someone come alive from nothingness. Yeah, because uh, at the beginning it's, it's like ugly and then with time and uh, all the tools we are using with the brush we come with something. How about wrinkles, like facial wrinkles? Um, we are using a substance painter to create the um, okay. texture, so sometimes we put that in the substance, with substance painter. Uh, it's more, uh, we can control everything with substance. If the texture doesn't work or whatever, we can change. Mm. So, uh, so what's the, the sequence? Where does uh, Substance Painter come in in the process? After, so we start with Marvel Designer and then ZBrush. We are uh, we're doing all the, the high definition model and then I decimate everything and put that in Maya. And Maya, I build the low definition model. I create all the UVs. Uh, the average uh, polygon count for the characters? Uh, it's around uh, uh, 25,000, 30,000. Okay. Depend. Depend on the characters. Yeah. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Uh, and then, so Maya, I'm doing the low def, the UVs as well. Sometimes I'm using a, uh, as well ZBrush to create the UVs. 
and then uh, the last pass is uh, on substance painter. Okay. All the textures are done with substance painter. All the baking, the normal map. The so we, we showed a little bit of that when we talked with uh, yeah, Andrea. Uh, yeah, with Andrea, yes. <laughs> okay, there's a big question about uh, wanting to hear my fantasy about how I would see the game being in six months if I had all the resources available, all the money. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, there's also it's a funny question because in a sense, even if you were to give me a hundred million dollars to work for six months. There's only so much you can do with, you know, the team, and you couldn't. I couldn't hire a hundred more people tomorrow yeah. and make it be efficient. Yeah. It's just not how it works. Mm -hmm. And then if you put all this shit in the game, then everything would it's break, and, <laughs> just, uh, and then you'd be like, "Oh, cool! There's the new <laughs> unlimited budget update," and then you'd have a six-month download because yeah. the game yeah. would be like, uh, okay. I don't know, six hundred gigs. <laughs> Uh, so that's absolutely <coughs> not answering the question, no. but uh, I think it's a very interesting question, which uh, I, I can't answer like this. But I'll try to, to think about that, and maybe uh, me, maybe come up with some of the uh, stuff. But to be fair, we've been we've been given an opportunity, me, but the whole team, about running this the way we want. And and I mean, money is always a concern because we essentially we need to keep making more money than we spend. I mean, that's sort of the ultimate goal yeah. here. Uh, but we're not really bound by that. It's mostly because of the state of the game and the, 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 the setup we've created and what we've you know, done so far that we need to live within those boundaries. And uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff that's coming. I mean, even the, the stuff that we've done so far, you can look at, you know, the. For me, the Lullaby uh, for the Dark chapter right. is some of the stuff that I'm the most proud of. Mm -hmm. And that, like, I wouldn't do things really differently if I could. This is the stuff that I'm proud to show. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of the quality of life improvements that we've been working on that will come uh, soon are exactly how I'd answer that question. But obviously, I can't talk about it right now, or else Olivier will be angry at me. And he's a French person. So, there. When will you bring back community events? It kind of stopped and fell flat after we lost that one event, and I kind of still want those Huntress David King cosmetics. Bring back community events, please. Answer from Gabrielle Yes, it's already planned with an exclamation mark. <coughs> so, there. Which character have the most and least polygon? It's fewer, not least, but. Okay, okay. I think it's Bill. Bill, Bill has the, the most highest uh, because polygon. of the beard. Because of the beard. Okay. Yeah. And the less, uh, I think it's the um, the hag, the first outfit. Mm. Because it's pretty simple and it's all in the texture. Yeah. More yeah. than the polygons. No you didn't model all the crevices and no. cracks. No. Okay. There's no much accessories on it, so it's yeah. cool. Uh, I did say that. Okay. Uh, did the Apex addition to the clothes make it easier or more challenging for you? Uh, with Apex, we have a lot of uh, constraints, actually. Yeah, we can put... Uh, Apex Just for, for people out there like me, who yeah, okay. knows nothing, and Apex, I don't know what Apex is. Okay. It's uh, simulating clothing in Unreal. So, uh, but... So when you create, let's say, Dwight's tie, yeah. Instead of putting bones in there and animating it's it by hand, that's it. we can just set it as a cloth object and let Apex Simulate make it move. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what did it change for you? The way to come to build a low definition model, but it's not that it's not a big deal actually. We just have to uh, be careful about the layering. We can have. Uh, multiple layering of the uh, of different piece, pieces of Apex, so because they'll yeah because screw it's all each other and yeah, yeah. so overlapping everywhere. So, uh, but it gave you more power in other places. Like it allows you to do a few things that are dangling, yeah, and things that are for sure. 
Uh, remember uh, before we we haven't like uh, apex we can do a dress uh, a long dress we can do like uh, i don't know all the stuff we can use with apex like a tie yeah. so right now we we have that so we have a little bit more of liberty to create uh concept to the concept like new killer or new uh, outfit but we have to stay aware of the yeah there is the a certain constraint about that can you explain how the hair physics work in Dead by Daylight? We don't have hair physics. It's apex when there's hair. Uh, not really, actually. I oh know we're animating some of it. Yeah, it's a bone. Uh, it's bone driven, so it's, it's it's rigged actually. Like a leg. Like a leg, same thing. It's an extra leg. Hair yeah, is just an extra <laughs> leg, is what it's <laughs> happening. But hair. no apex because it's too uh, it's too heavy. We we, we can it's not possible. <laughs> There you go. We dropped uh, like 15 frames a second. Okay, yeah, the, if uh, that. the lower, lower machine uh, won't be able to, uh, to play yeah. with it. Uh, with the Trapper model, did you model the face before you modeled the mask? Uh, probably, yeah. Modeled the face before the mask. Yeah. You didn't spend that no, much time on the face it, yeah, because uh, it was never uh, supposed to be shown. You won't be supposed to, uh, to see the face. <laughs> Ever. So Apex is the reason the doc's cloak keeps flying. The what? The doctor's cloak keeps flying. Yeah, that's the Apex. Yeah. And when you get to the lobby, there's a moment when it resets and then it goes yeah, crazy there is, sometimes. Yeah, this is, there is some uh, issue with, the, the, with that. It's all there. It's uh, infinite uh, animation, so it pop yeah. up. And that's why. That's so uh, we kind of need to wrap this up now. Uh, but this was super interesting. Uh, I'm sure more questions will come. If you have more questions for Damien, uh, shoot them over. Maybe he will answer them. Maybe of he won't. Uh, send, send it to me. Don't send it directly to okay, him. No. He's busy. Uh, He's got shit to do. To that being said, I would like now to go to my very... F no, we're not showing that. I would like to go to my very favorite part of the show, which is when we look at the amazing art that our friends uh, from the interwebs have been creating. Uh, it was fascinating. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, Maybe? That's fine. No, no, no. Stay no, with me. Stay, okay. You'll look at cool art. Nice. Okay, so the first one is from uh, Anu Patton. A new pattern? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm angling your name. Or maybe it's not you, but that's the credits I have that's found. So, cool. so nice. Thank so you very cute. much. Uh, then we have some cosplay from Ashlock Heart. Creepiest kid's <laughs> costume I've seen in a long time. I, I approve. Yeah. So uh, now that you are a father, make notes. Your kids need uh, to go and yeah. look I creepy. Oh, uh, wait. I have poster everywhere. Good. Uh, Black Derby put this, uh, uh, yeah, it, 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 it teach, um, move. Um, it's teach, yeah, thank you, uh, Bjorn. <laughs> Trying to teach Amanda how to barbecue. <laughs> very nice, uh, thank you. Uh, the next one is a cosplay from uh, Vicky Flicke. Vicky Flicke? Wow. So, uh, th I, I, yeah, that's a good nurse, and I really like the, the house in the background, super creepy setup. The weapon setup. Uh, looks really nice, actually. Right? Yeah. Uh, next one is from Jenny Loves Myers. Clever. <laughs> uh, I like nice. jokes. Uh, then Nanny Graham sent us this uh, delightful, I believe it was a request for someone. <laughs> I just like it. Uh, there you go. Then nice. Pepegle. Pepegle. This is awesome this, i i this like style? seeing very very different art oh, styles yeah. applied to our characters it's really nice yeah the, the hug is really cool yeah it's, it's really well done so see you managed to impress Damien. well done uh then poison ivy lena nice. showing us this really really cool cosplay we can see again the huntress is one of the most uh, striking characters that we've created yeah. and it inspired a lot of cosplayers out there i'm very yes. happy about that uh then uh shibariya shibariya created this really cool jake again i like the very very different style that's being applied to this yeah <coughs> and then vompy uh, gave us this really cool uh, doctor nice. yeah 
And the last one is my current desktop background from Alexi, I believe. I, I like that they all look adult. Yeah. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really cool. Yeah, Dwight. Uh, His link is gone. Yeah, he's, he's hurt. It's not going <laughs> well for him. Uh, so that's it for the art for this week. Uh, thank you very much. So quickly going through our news and announcements. Patch 1.9.1 .1 has been released. There's a lot of cool fixes in there and a few uh, balance changes. You can look it up afterwards. Uh, the survey results for the winter solstice were a huge success. Over 18,000 people answered. That's amazing. Thank you very much. We'll keep doing surveys for the different things. Uh, Saw is going to be the next one. You're going to receive it. You're going to give uh, us some really cool feedback. And we are going to listen to it. Uh, cyberspace was awesome. Uh, an event in Russia. Thank you very much for everybody who attended and organized that. And then... Uh, that's it, really. Uh, the last thing, I will not leave you with uh, words of wisdom, although technically naming your kids awesome stuff is the advice in there. But all I'll say is that Penn Jillett, from the famous uh, magicians duo Penn and Teller, mm -hmm. his daughter, he named his daughter Moxie Crime Fighter Gillette. <laughs> and that is an awesome man. <laughs> So that's all I have for you today. Thank you again very much for joining us. We'll be here next week with more cool news from uh, what the hell's happening in Dead by Daylight. Thank you. Ciao. Bye.